Let me get rid of her. That woman will be the death of you. Even her crazy father warned you. Look at her now. She's doing all of this for your benefit. She means nothing to me. Get out, Josh. Get out. You never should have been a vampire, much less a ruler. Well, that even now I could still crush you like a bug? What are you talking about? Let's do this. You and me, once and for all. You, a mere mortal. Well, maybe you don't got the guts. I've never walked away from a challenge. And for that, you'll be sorry. You'll be truly sorry. Keep looking for me. Mortality hasn't humbled you one tiny little bit, has it? Maybe dying tonight will. I got a better idea. Why don't I wring your neck until you give me the antidote? You cocky son of a bitch. <laughs> that pathetic mortal disrespected me in my own place. Sorry we messed up, boss. He just waltzed in here and threw acid in my face. Why bother having guards? Why don't I have girl scars to protect me? It won't happen again. You're right, it won't happen again. I've been far too generous. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm going to teach you and the people of this town a lesson. A lesson you won't forget. Then you'll remember who's in charge. How could I be become a vampire? Through me, of course. My plans require recruits. Those recruits have to certain skills. Yours are toughness and fearlessness and hunger for power, control, and respect. Yeah, Victor, we've all been looking forward to this meeting with passion. So when were you going to tell me you started gambling again? I was trying to save this place. It would kill my mom if it went under. Well, I have some money put aside. I never could take no for an answer. Yeah, yeah, right. You have my heart. And you're about to lose your soul. I don't understand why you need shrouds or fangs. Because they make me feel stronger. Okay? Better. Like I'm somebody. You're a lucky man, Victor. Believe me. When you wake up, you'll thank me for this. You get an offer that's five times what this place is worth from Joshua. It's business, okay? Just drop it. No, Frank. Tell me you're not one of them. You're a vampire, aren't you? It was Allison's ceremony. Any surprises? Rafe, Lucy, Allison's mother, all crying, very emotional. It's real, boss. What a pity. We would have been so happy together. Is that the list? Hmm. We've turned all the key people that we need and placed them strategically all over town. So what's next on the agenda? I think we need a few extra bodies on us. You want me to do some recruiting? Exactly, Franklin. I declare tonight, open season on humans. so many DOAs down in the moor. It's, it's like an epidemic. Karen, I need to speak to you. Sorry, I've got my hands full with patients who all seem to be missing their blood. How could I ever have loved you? Oh, Karen, I think I may have torn a couple of stitches. Hey, we're talking here. No, we're done. Let me take a look at those stitches. At least there's someone I could help tonight. Where is he? 
He couldn't just vanish like that. Well, it certainly looks that way, doesn't it? Jamal, if you get this message, you need to call me, okay? Because if you're at home scarfing down a pizza, I'm gonna be real mad. You need to call me. Dude, we tried to sell, we tried his house, and we tried the bike shop. Nothing. Which means he doesn't want to talk. Look, you know how he disappears when he wants to blow off steam. Yeah. It's a guy thing. They get all silent and macho when they've got a problem or something. Whatever it is, we can't stay out here all night, all right? We got work to do. Guys, guys, look, we can't just leave him out here all alone. I mean, you saw how he was when he took off after Libby. He blames her for Allison's death. Exactly. He barely made it through the service without losing it. Look, I understand, but you can't find a guy that doesn't want to be found. Ricky, I'm staying. Yeah, me too. Strike three, Ricky. <laughs> fine, fine. We'll all stay. How's that? Huh? But I bet you anything that Jamal's out there watching us, laughing his ass off. No, this is just some kind of trick somebody's playing on me. Or a bad dream. Yes, yeah, a dream, and I'll wake up, and I won't be a vampire. I don't like that. Oh, hey, Jamal, hey, there you go. Hey, you're right, you're right over here. What oh. have you been going on out looking for you? Where you been? Uh, <laughs> you don't want to know. No, try me. Look, we know you're freaked out about the whole Allison memorial thing, but... Where'd you on. go, Jamal? I just went for a stroll. <laughs> They're on the wild side. All right, well, well, at least you're okay. What, you care about me now? Jack, because that doesn't seem like you to care about me. Then again, you don't have nothing to worry about, do you? Because you, Joshua, and all your homies have everything taken care of. This is the brave new Port Charles. Well, just chill out. No, no, right? no, no. Port Charles, huh? Port Charles. Come for a visit and stay for an eternity, huh? I like that for the new model for Jamal, the city. You like chill that? Out. I like it. No. Yeah, I'll chill out. Jack, I'll chill out and I'll kick it right here on the bench, and maybe everything will go back to normal, huh? You maybe see. not. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, you know what? What the hell's going on here? Hey, man, you need lighten up. We were just trying to help you here. Yeah, we know nobody can help me. What? Nobody can help me. Not anymore. Jamal, we're your friends. Let us help you, man. Yeah, come on, dude. Look, we're your friends, all right? Get the hell off of me, dude. What are you doing, man? You want to hit me? Come on, come hit me. Yeah. You feel better? Let's go. All right, all right, just relax, both of you. Seriously, this is ridiculous. Just chill. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stay here with Jamal. You guys leave. Just, just go, go. That's fine with me. This is getting go. too heavy for Y'all me. Y'all go. Why don't you call us when you come back to Earth? You might as well go with him. Get as far away from me as you can. Jamal, wait. What? What? I said to get the hell out of here. What are you waiting for? For you to tell me what really happened. He turned you. They got to you, didn't they? You're a vampire now. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jamal. Give the girl a prize. Now you know my deep, dark secret. How? How? How did they do it? You know, I don't know. Beats me. I mean, one minute I'm walking through the park, next minute I wake up in the morgue. <laughs> Not something I'd actually recommend either, so I'll do it. I should have been telling you. I should have been telling you this whole time. I should have been by your side. It's just I've been too busy looking after Ricky. Yeah, I'm you, sorry. You know, you know what's whack about this, this whole situation? Is that I've been telling Ricky this whole time to watch out for these sneaky vampires and everything. Even when Jack, when he was like doing his little dance with the dark side. I never side. thought it would happen to you, huh? <laughs> no, I always thought I'd be cool, you know? Yeah, I know. No, when I lived here, when I lived here, I thought I was invincible, too. I guess I thought somebody up there had my back. <laughs> you know, I'm one of the good guys, so, you know, somehow I'm protected. 
<laughs> That's pretty freaking funny, yeah. You know what, you know what? Let me take you home. No, no, you know what? Home, they okay? gotta be laughing the freaking halos off what? and looking at me down here at their number one sucker saying, hey, you thought you were pretty, like, smooth, huh? Well, look, here, why don't you take a little something to the blood bank, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, I guess the joke's on me, huh? No. Huh? No. Some joke, huh? <laughs>